Hey guys, my name is Lucas, uh, this is my friend Alex, and today we're going to be teaching you how to do the wall flip. Now, although I can do the wall flip, I know how to, Alex is way better at it than me, and he's been doing it for longer, so I'm going to pass a little bit off to him. Take it away, Alex. So, quick disclaimer, wall flips are very dangerous, so please don't do them wherever. Make sure you're in a nice, controlled environment, and that wouldn't hurt. And also some prerequisites, if you've done a flip before, that helps a lot. A back flip, back handspring, even if it's just on a trampoline, that can make a big difference. And without further ado, let's get into the fun stuff. So first thing about a wall flip is make sure you know how many steps you're going to take. You don't want to trip yourself up. And also, it's best to take off on your dominant foot, but if you want to, you can use the other one. Just whatever works more comfortable. When doing a wall flip, make sure to put your foot around hip height right here. If you go too low, you're going to land on your neck. And if you go too high, that's a good way to break your toe. When you're setting up a wall flip, what you want to do is lift your arms up like this. If you whip a little bit too hard, you're going to over-rotate. And if you whip with one arm, you're going to go off to the side. Always go two and keep it tight. So that's how you go ahead and do the wall flip. But you might be asking yourselves, that's pretty scary. How do you go from here to there? Not doing a wall flip to actually doing the wall flip. Well, I have the solution for you. It's called the buddy flip. All right, so to do the buddy flip, what you need is at least one friend or two if you're a real pussy. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap your arms around them like, well, a buddy, like you're hanging out like the pals and you're just gonna run at the wall. You're gonna use your buddy as a bit of support for confidence. They're not gonna, they can spot you, but you're not gonna hopefully need the full spot. You're just gonna use them as a bit of support to get you over the fear of the wall flip. As you get better at doing the wall flip, you won't need them to use them as much until eventually you won't need to use them at all and you've just done a wall flip on your own. All right guys, so that's gonna be it from us today. That's all it is for the wall flip tutorial. It's honestly not that hard to learn. It's just a little bit scary to do at first, but if you have a friend and you try it this way, you can learn it in five minutes. I learned my wall flip in exactly that time. And if you guys like this video, please drop a like, subscribe, comment down below so if you wanna do more. I'm thinking of doing more trick tutorials as I get better at this. And that's gonna be all from us. Bye-bye.